Welcome to Classic Car Cave. So this will be second from last for a while on this uh, Mini 1100 Special because uh, we've done the tow board which has come back into line really nicely. We, we have everything stripped off that we need and we've basically done uh, relief cuts in the floor so that we could bring the tow board in line. Um, so there'll be one more on this, putting it onto the jig and, and then cutting some of the floor pan out, but we'll only cut out the very basics of it just to relieve the stress in it. Uh, obviously I want the panel here so that we can mark it up, but this Mini has had a new floor in it. Certainly it's had a new floor this side. We haven't pulled up the soundproofing on this side, but certainly on the, on the passenger, sorry, the, dri the driver's side, it has had a new floor pan at some point. You can see the welding. Um, so, um, yeah. Um, so as I said, it'll be this one, one more, and then I'll get all the parts ordered, which should, might take some period of time. Um, and then we'll just throw a cover over it and I'll go back onto the XK150. But before I do that, tomorrow morning I'm going down with my trailer, my own hanger, and buying all the wood and, and uh, insulation and LED lighting for the garage. So we're gonna be building a insulated, we have a wooden garage, a very substantial wooden garage. We put a new roof on it last year. Now it's completely watertight. We've checked over a year. It's watertight, everything's good. We're now going to insulate it. Uh, we're going to do OSB board in it, but with LED lighting, and it's going to have a pitch roof inside it so that the lighting will go in that as well. I should think it'll take us probably two days, maybe three days tops, because we're only doing the interior of it, but we've got a lot of cutting, and a lot of electrical cable to put in and so on. So I hope you're following me on that. It'll be something like DIY, uh, DIY. Uh, DIY um, paint booth or spray booth or something like that and it'll probably be in three parts. So I hope you follow me with that. Anyway, back onto this. Well, I may just put these uh, two number plate uh, brackets back on and it strengthens it all up and it's just a bit of silver paint that we had spare so it doesn't get any rustier but we will use the B BMC colour on it but you can see it's looking real nice. So <clears throat> to get this out now the plan is, is, is made up is to get this tow board uh, out we're going to use the, the tow hitch here onto the ramp and then we're going to put a plate so he's taking all this crap out which was hellish to get to you can see all the rust is here so he's cut relief cut it here and he will do the same as he's pulling it so we're basically we're going to put this piece inside these two massive pieces of angle actually were off the jig for the IRS <coughs> for doing E-types. So he's making another one, which will go on here. And then he's gonna pull from the front with a winch. So I'll go right to the front there, pull it with a winch and pull the whole thing square. And we'll know if it's square once we put the, uh, we put the jig on the front, that will show that it's in the right position. And then he can cut and dolly at the same time. And then uh, we'll see where we are with it. But we've got to take the, the pedal plaster out because, which is not a big deal. We've got to take that down because unfortunately the studs sit above where we need them. You can see there, I think you can see there, those studs are in the way and we need that completely clear, that, that whole uh, front cross member. And there's the weld inside. Oh, you, can't see it. you can see it. It's all done inside. It's coming on. So you can see where the original crease was there. That's all been welded in. Fortunately, that <coughs> plastic arch comes down over there, but we will have to do some filler work on it. It's a bit rusty. Oh, it's a bit dirty around here because we had to clean up the inside. And I'll show you exactly what's going on there. So you can see here, all this has been now. I'll bring this up. You can see all this has been welded up and this crack that was here. Also, we had to weld down the front here on this front apron. It was pretty untidy and we had to do that and do that both sides. So what we're trying to do now is clean all this area up, but you can see, hopefully you can see now how nice that, that uh, tow board is. You can see how straight it is. Uh, it did bend one of the 
um, one of the back um, rubber supports which I'll show you now okay these are the rear supports on the back of the uh, subframe on the front subframe but at the rear legs onto the tow board this one is still okay this is the one both of these were brand new three and a half years ago because they were completely the uh, rubber vulcanization was completely split when they brought the car to me in the first place or when we picked it up from the German the German Austrian border at Passau this because it gets in oh it's a real clunky when you accelerate and decelerate so no wonder it's just banging against the tow board unfortunately this one is badly distorted and the problem with it obviously with being rubber there's no way to hold this to get it straight we could hammer on it but you can see it's badly dented there and it's also here it's not good either it's a bit of so for what it is we'll get a new one it's just really out of shape and that's obviously taking the brunt of it and it could have damaged the vulcanization or the rubber in it and, and we don't know we can't see because it's it's inside possibly so we'll not take a chance and get that done and as you can see we've got the this is um these are uh, fire blankets but they're welding blankets just to make sure the windscreen doesn't get any any uh, marks on it and you, i'll take you around there and show you the cuts he's already made so you can see the cut right the way across the front there where it's so badly creased and then and it's also been cut here underneath if i put the light in there you might be able to see it better you can see the cut there and you can see the cut in front that was just to relieve it and uh, but this is there's been a new one in here at some point and the telltale sign is there if you look at the tunnel you can see where the welding is so there's been a new floor in this at some point <laughs> um, and this is what was used we used two of these which is actually part of my uh, e-type jig for the holding up the IRS so we use these to pull it straight and uh, it was done by using the uh, using the ramp as a support and pulling on it and pulling it nice and straight so there we are excuse me so yeah oh, I never looked at them doors Bugger. I have some luck at that. Actually, they look all right. Oh, they're in good shape. That's where they normally go on the minis, right here on the bottom. Anyway, let me just check my lamp works. Oh, I've been buggered it. Oh, thank God. Oof. Right, so there we are. That's what we're up to at the moment. And as I said, the last one will be where well, we put it on the jig. Uh, cut out the basics, the very basics, um, maybe get all this bulkhead cleaned up and uh, repaint it, put it on the jig and then we'll stick a cover over it until we get the parts to come in.